Aloha and welcome to Where to Stay on Oahu series, reviewing the most popular areas to stay by 10 criteria: distance from the airport, transportation pricing, hotel pricing, things to do, restaurants, shopping, spa availability, beach access, parking, advantages and disadvantages of staying in that area. This is part 5 of 7 part series and we're taking you to Kohala Resort on the south side of Oahu. Just be out with us. We've taken you around the entire island of Oahu and now we came to the south side which is the most popular. We are at the beautiful Kahala Hotel and Resort and it, it is only 12 miles away from Honolulu International Airport or just a 20 minute ride. And now to take a cab from the airport to here will cost you about $45. Regular airport cab. Right, or if you take a lift, it'll be about... Or Uber. Or an Uber, right. It would take you about, it'll cost about... $30. $30, $30 and about $40 if you take a shuttle. But that is for four people shuttle. Uh, pricing per rooms are not super cheap here. They start minimum at $350 per night and go up to $2,500 per suite. Let's talk about the activities you can do once you are here. There is Pilates, yoga. Beach yoga. Yes, kayaking. They also have dolphins, real life <laughs> dolphins. It's awesome here. That you can do uh, encounters, you can swim with dolphins. Yes. And they do dolphin shows, which is amazing. Yes. Uh, but besides that, there is so much to do in the area. Let's talk about hikes. We got Diamond Head Hike. Which is close. We got Coco Head Hike. Uh, Makapu'u Lighthouse Hike. That's great in the mornings to catch sunrise. Uh, well, uh, besides that, you have Waikiki really close, which is super popular touristy area, and there is so, so much, much to, to do, do there. Uh, we have uh, Honolulu Zoo, uh, we have uh, Waikiki Aquarium, and lots of uh, beach activities uh, like uh, aqua bicycle, surfing. And so much more. Not to mention, you're very close to Hanama Bay, which is great for snorkeling. And of course, we did a full review, complete review, on everything you need to do and everything you need to know before you get to Hanama Bay. And there is an amazing hike there at Hanama Bay as well, which you can check out in our vlog as well. And we'll leave the link in the description. Now, as far as food options go, there are five restaurants right on the property, two bar lounges and one poolside bar. And of course, if you don't want to eat on property and you want to kind of go out and explore a little bit, Waikiki has an array of restaurants where you can eat your heart out from low end all the way to $10 high -end. plates, yes. lunch plates to high end dining. This hotel does feature several boutiques inside, but if you really want to get your shopping on, you know what to do. 20 minutes away, you can hit Waikiki, you can hit Ala Moana Mall, and you can shop till your heart's content. <laughs> Besides this beach, you are very close to Waikiki Beach, and again, you can take a free shuttle and explore other south side beaches or even the east side beaches. And we did the full review of south side beaches and east side beaches that you can check out in our ultimate beach tour of Oahu. And of course, we will leave a link in the description. And if you want to be pampered, this hotel features a full service spa with 10 treatment rooms Ooh. from manicures, pedicures to all, all kinds of all cures. <laughs> <laughs> and different types of massages as well. Let's talk about the parking at this hotel. It is $40 per day. Now, let's get quickly into the advantages and the disadvantages of staying here. Well, the disadvantage is the high parking price, but the advantage is 
this hotel offers free shuttle around the area so you can get free to Waikiki or Ala Moana and they do a couple of other stops along the way you can check it out with the hotel for schedules and where exactly they're going another advantage is that this is a beachfront hotel. This hotel is located in a very quiet area. There is a golf course, uh, some private clubs Yeah, there's here. a lot of clubhouses around here. And speaking about area, Kohala area is very famous for fancy houses of celebrities. Oh yeah. Millions and millions and millions dollar homes and pro properties are located right behind this hotel. If you actually take a Circle Island tour while you're here, more than likely they will be passing through this neighborhood because they want to show you the million dollar homes and who lives there and who lives what next to them. What celebrity exactly. owns the property. Right, and you'll be like, oh my God, it's amazing. So it's very quiet, peaceful, and relaxing here. Yet it has enough activities and very kid-friendly. So if you decide to just come here and stay in just this area and shuttle to Waikiki, you're not gonna get bored. This is a great area to stay. So actually this hotel would be one of the best hotels we probably recommend if you choose to come here and not rent a vehicle just because you can get from this hotel to Waikiki which is obviously one of the best places to to go see and to hang out and they do uh, provide a shuttle other hotels it might not be so this case. hotel has kind of the best of both worlds yes. you want to be quiet and relax in here without crazy crowds you can stay here and if when you, you want, want crazy? to jump in <laughs> to the crazy business yeah. you can go right to Waikiki right. and this hotel pretty much has only the the people that stay here and uh, as we mentioned before they do dolphin encounters so there are a few tourists that come here to do the dolphin encounters but all in all it's not too many people here in part six we will tell you everything you need to know about staying at kaimana beach if you want to travel to Hawaii like a pro, subscribe to our channel and click the bell notification icon to be the first to know when we post our next video. Mahalo for watching and as usual, just be out with us!